everyone welcome back to the podcast if you're new welcome if you're a veteran welcome back uh today we have a great topic i think there's a lot of a lot of you might be wondering about this and uh i hope i don't screw up this question for hans here we talked about it basically um our defense and prey uh trained trained dogs more dangerous than untrained untrained dogs. dogs yeah that's and what's more dangerous prey or defense driven okay dogs yeah so you may be surprised what i'm going to say yeah if you can yeah. kind of give us a big well, picture and then maybe if you want to go in deeper but like what's the well it's a big topic it is, yeah um a lot of times you know husband wants to buy personal protection dog because he want to protect his family and woman wife she's afraid for their, her children and they think the dog when it's protection they don't want a dog to be protection trained because they think dog which is protection trained is more dangerous killer you know no yeah. is that true you know the fact is um the training is always good right yeah okay so i can uh get a black belt in martial arts doesn't mean I'm going to go and beat everybody on a sidewalk right when I walk yeah. to the grocery store it's right? kind of like if you have a gun you're not going to start shooting people right like it's similar concept right same concept same concept yeah so the dog just because he's trained <clears throat> correctly trained protection yeah. should be no problem correct I mean, should trained. be safe yeah safer than actually dog which is not trained Now, there is a difference between correctly trained and incorrectly trained. Yeah. The one of the biggest differences is that correctly trained dog performs the protection only on command. Doesn't matter what's going on unless he has command there is no aggression. Yeah. Okay. I think we talked about it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think Like I train dogs for like hospitals and children hospitals. Mhm. And the dogs are perfectly safe. They mm-hmm. like children. And they um and 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 they you know they won't attack them just because they're running around, right? Mhm. So um so because so 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 when we start training dog, yeah. We I always say we first got to make them lover and then we can make them killer so to speak. Yeah. Right. I don't want to get banned here because no. I'm training. It's an analogy. Dog. Yeah, it's an analogy. Yeah. So, um so the default becomes dog is always friendly. That's the lover. Mhm. And as I like to say I teach the dog wor- wor- that world is warm and fuzzy ball but now and then Yeah. There is an asshole who needs killing, right? <laughs> That's the title of the book. <laughs> Hans's yeah. new book. I joke with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the, the title of the new book right now, the, up, the top runner is How to Train an Imperfect Dog. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's a good title. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh so um anyway, so when we so so the default before we start training dog should be almost must be the dog is friendly mm-hmm. right to everybody yeah. you know and that's a default and when the dog is taught to perform protection then after the, the that's done he needs to re- retreat back to the default meaning world is warm and fuzzy ball again yeah. right yeah So so now is is the protection dog safe or dangerous in comparison to untrained dog protection right yeah and the short answer is the protection dog is safer because he's being protective only on command 
where dog, which is not trained protection, is going to be protective because he feels like it. Mm-hmm. Okay? Acting on, on his own or her own? Then, on his own decision then. and emotion, you know, whatever whatever he feels, this is dangerous. Yeah. So I will attack it, right, because I think it's dangerous. Yeah. Where the well-trained dog has the guidance to do it yeah. only yeah. if, uh, you know, only if, if he gets command. It's like, and I think I may have used it before, there is this concept of training dogs not to jump on the couch. Mm-hmm. You teach them to jump on command on the couch, and then you don't give them the command. Yeah. Same thing with protection. Yeah. You know, yeah. you 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 just don't give the dog command to attack your children or to to your f- friends who came for a barbecue party. Yeah, that'd be not good. Right. So <laughs> the dog is in the yeah. default of world is warm and fuzzy ball. Yeah, where to play? But if w. your uh, if your friend Steve wanna kill you, yeah, then you can give the dog command. Yeah. And he will protect you. Yeah. So that makes it safe two different ways. First of all, he's not going to make the decision, dangerous decision on his own. Yeah. And second of all, if trained correctly, he will protect you. Yeah. So, right. So the if it's done correctly, and again I stress correctly, there's like millions of things which would make yeah. training be correct. But number one thing is it gotta be on command. The dog should not make their own decision. Now there are training systems where the dog is making their own decision, but uh, there are, I don't recommend them. Not for John yeah. Q public family dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Now if you guarding munition depot, the depot nuclear you know, facility, well, <laughs> that may yeah. be different, right? Yeah, they're very specialized. In, right, but yeah. but if you have a family dog, no, yeah. it got to be only on command, only yeah. on command. Yeah. You now get you a, will say, well, but I want my dog yeah. to protect my house yeah. when I sleep or when I'm not there. Yeah. Well, then you train the dog that when you are not there, then they make the decision. Mm. Right, so you sleep and somebody sneaks up in your house in middle of the night, you are not giving the dog command. Yeah. But the dog, by instinct, will become protective because somebody violated his territory. Yeah. And you can train him that in that situation, the command is not necessary. Yeah. So he, he that, that like. goes on to his own mode. Do you have a, um, when uh, people call you that want to buy a dog, um, <clears throat> The, is that that's a fairly common uh, oh, yeah. question? I lost a lot of sales because the wife didn't want to have a dangerous protection dog. Okay. Or generally, they just call and say, "I need a dog for family." Uh, <clears throat> yeah, protection. but you know what? That doesn't motivate me. Yeah. <clears throat> the selling dog or not? Okay. No, I know. What yeah. motivates me? I want people to make the sound decision. I know. I'm just saying the question comes up a, a lot. That's what I'm yeah, yeah, referring. Yeah. yeah. No. Well, yeah. I just want to make sure. That no, I know. Yeah. Don't that, think that I want some more. Dogs. No, no, of no, no. I want some more. No, dogs. I know. No, but not at what, expense of danger and danger. Yeah. Danger. No. No, I know you're very sound with that, and you give people. You want you want you yeah no um, what I meant is is uh, yeah. the the question itself comes up fairly often or oh know. yeah comes yeah. up at least once a week yeah. You know? Yeah, and um, so so trained dog is safer than untrained dog. Yeah. I mean, it, that alone makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, now there is different kind of protection, right? If it's area protection, then that dog will attack anybody who enters the property. But that's a junkyard dog. That's not yeah. what we're talking about. We're talking about personal protection trained dog or law enforcement trained yeah. dog. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then the other question is, people think who train prey in prey protection, based protection, they don't want to train defense because they think the dog is more dangerous when he's trained in defense, right? Yeah. And, and actually, again, the opposite is the truth, right? It's one of the reasons why I train dog in defense, because it's safer. 
The dog who is trained in prey is being taught whatever moves can be attacked. Yeah. Right? So children running around, dog grabs it. Okay. Logically. So so yeah. that's yeah. that's prey based training. And you know, telling dog, you know, you attack what moves. You, you know, you may do it on command, but it may bleed into not command, right? Yeah. Now um if you train dog in defense, remember the world is warm and fuzzy ball until until I give a command. Right? And and then the dog also is trained to do all that I'm in leadership leader in leadership position so that when I the dog respects me, right? It boils down all to what we talked about the other podcast that the dog got to do things even if he doesn't want to do, do it. it. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of times people train prey, they train the dog to do it because they love to do it, right? So they love to chase. They love to chase that sleeve on somebody's arm. They love to run yeah. after a guy who's running away, right? Where, where the dog, which is trained defense, he feels threat. That's not fun. But he goes there because I said so, and he knows that he can win if he puts enough pressure on the other guy. Yeah. Right? So he does it only on command, which I am giving him, so he's not making his own decision. His world is warm and fuzzy ball otherwise. And, and so that dog is safer than the dog who will grab things just because they're moving around like yeah. little children. Oh, yeah. Right? You don't have to know anything about dogs. It just logically makes sense. Right. But, you know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, when I say things like this, I'm always trying to think, yeah. how would somebody disagree with me? So I, it's like, it's like playing, chess. It's, chess. Like, it's like playing chess with yourself. Did yeah, you ever try me. that? No. Uh, you know, yeah. do you play chess? A little bit. My dad was... He loved chess. Yeah, he you know, lot, you know, one but, of the, yeah. you know, what's interesting is, I mean, you play chess against somebody, right? Yeah. But if you are in prison cell, like Count of Monte Cristo, sure, which for is for forty years, yeah. right? Yeah. And you have nobody to play with, yeah. So you make yourself chess yeah. chess pieces from bread. Yeah. You know, you kind of yeah. knead it and, and you set up the, and you draw it on the floor and you start playing chess with yourself. Yeah against yourself yeah so you have a uh, black moves and then yeah, white moves. and then you go the other way and the white moves always <laughs> start with white of course yeah and uh and that's very hard yeah you know because you know you, what you want to yeah. do to the white guy so why would you want to make that move then right. right but that's what makes you think yeah it's even more than you. if you play against somebody else right uh -huh. Uh -huh. that's what makes you a good chess player when you're trying to play, you know, you're always trying to make the best move. Yeah. Regardless of the of the intention of the other guy, you know, even if he knows your intention. Yeah. And that's the same thing when I'm talking about dog training. Try to answer yourself. I want to... Yeah. You're countering I'm, yourself. I'm, I'm playing both sides in my head anyway. Yeah. Of the argument. You're countering I'm, your... Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying, okay, if I yeah. say this... What would the person who disagrees with me and doesn't call me a hole, yeah. right? Which a lot of people do just because they disagree, so they think I must be an asshole. Yeah. Um, but if somebody logical would come at yeah. me, what would his argument be? And is yeah. that argument true? Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to do, you know, when I'm talking about this, you know, and sometimes the topics become kind of muddled a little bit. Yeah. But uh, in this case, I think it's pretty clear that trained dogs are better than not trained dogs, protection, trained yeah. dogs, safer, safer. safer. Yes, sir. Yeah. And the dogs who are in defense are safer than dogs in prey because dog in defense will attack on defense only when I say so. Yeah. And dog in prey will attack things which move. Yeah. If yeah. I say so or not, you know, yeah. playing ball and all that is just yeah. things moving. So. Yeah. And, and the people who train dogs in prey do it in a way that the dog thinks it's a happy time. Mm -hmm. 
So when children are running around and having happy time, dogs have happy time, and he bites them in the ass. You know, so that's my take on it. It's logical. You know, um, uh, yeah. If somebody listening right now, and you know, the the always, it seems that uh, when they ask, "Oh, I want to train a personal protection dog," and then people chime in under those comments on Facebook, it's like ninety. I don't know what percentage, but very high percentage is, is, is pray, pray, pray. That's what they say. Pray, pray, pray for us, pray. It's like this epidemic. Of, well, the, you yeah. could make a video on that, yeah. you know, but basically you got to again, go back to the nature. Yeah. Prey is used for what? To hunt something. To, to catch something yeah. and eat it. Yeah. Kill it and eat it. Usually for food. Yeah, that's pray. That's yeah. pray. Not usually. Or always. Always, always yeah. Defense is used for what? To defend itself, the young ones, the yeah. pack members, the territories, the breeding yeah. rights, the food. That's yeah. defense. Yeah. So if I want dog to protect me, I don't want to hunt the bad guy in front of me yeah. coming at me. I want him to yeah. attack him, you know, yeah. in defense drive. Yeah. I love the, I love and some of you might be like, they give these explanation. Well, prey is not necessarily killing something, it's just going, it's like they go on and on in these like sub, you know, they like these little threads of left and right where Hans just explains it very simpler here. It's, you know, you want to kill something, if it's a prey, defense is defending, it's in the words, it's simple, it's not rocket science. It's in front of the camera. Oh, was I waving? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It makes it live. Like Italian. Yeah, I can't hey, talk about like, hey. But, Armando, yeah, Frederico. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you know, it's it's just it's mind-boggling to me that that people that that have been doing this professionally for 20, 30 years, and and I've been with Hans for like two over two years, and I can understand it. You know, I I understand it logically. That makes sense. No, but I you know I'm open to arguments against me. You know. Yeah. People think, well, you you think you're always right. Of course. Am I going to argue this argument? Well, I can say that to you. Which I think it's wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, that doesn't make sense. Of course, you think you are right too, right? We yeah, all you think do the we same are thing. right. Yeah, both right? of us are right. Now, you yeah. may have an open mind to admit that maybe we are wrong. But what I'm saying is, when I'm saying something, I'm saying it because I believe that what I'm saying is true. Okay? yeah. And, so and, don't tell me, oh, Hans thinks oh, he's always right. Yeah, I, I hope so. I yeah. mean, if I if I'm gonna arguing with something which I think yeah. is wrong, I need to be locked up. Yeah, and you <laughs> yeah. and you present the case, right? Yeah, both both sides, and and that's all you can do is present the case. Yeah, present. it's like it's like arguing the Earth is hollow, and inside of that hollow spot is another Earth which is bigger than the one around it. Yeah, am I gonna argue that? That's stupid, right? Yeah. So, uh, but uh, that's why I like asking people. <coughs> where did, so, who, where did you get your knowledge from? You know, I just want to hear it. Like, uh, usually you really get crickets after that. So, yeah, and, and uh, but uh, yeah, anything you want to? Well, I don't want to put myself on the shoulder too much. You know, I mean, a little bit. It's okay. But you've been on both <laughs> sides of the coin. Yeah. Well, yeah, most of That's the, the training thing, and I've that, done... That, and they haven't been. Yeah, most of the training I've done, or just about all of it, yeah. is uh, what these people argue that they're right and I'm wrong. I found out 30 years ago that yeah. doesn't make sense, and I can tell you exactly why. Yeah. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. You know, yeah. so... Going back again to the protection, don't be afraid of protection training. Be afraid of stupid trainers who, yeah. who, who, who will screw up your dog or teach him to be something dangerous. Yeah, yeah. One of the, one of the arguments was uh, this guy said in one of the groups that, uh, which, which it could happen, but he said, uh, well, in defense, they just, you just put so much pressure on a dog that they're going to crack, and th which could, ha you know, if they do it wrong, it's, you can... Well, you can, you know, yeah. Yes. So, but I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you're right. But I said, <laughs> if you do it wrong, yeah, it's like, I, I don't know, you can make an argument about anything about, right? <laughs> if you do it wrong, yeah, it's going to, if you don't... Yeah, if you, if you build an cookie, Empire State Building and put a wrong 
pylon it's in gonna there. Yeah, it'll fall apart. So is it dangerous to build Empire State? It, no, it's not. If you ba- it, if you bake in a cookie and you set it at you know seven hundred degrees, yeah, it's gonna burn. Like we're supposed to put it at three fifty. Right. Like I mean, it's like it's it's not a valid argument. Well, the argument there is, they think that you're just teasing the dogs to the point of break, and then the dog is cornered and will attack. That's it's, not. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what personal protection training. Yeah. That's not how it's done. The person does. Hey, not. if you want to know how it's done, you gotta buy my video. So with that said, <laughs> buy the video. Hans does have a personal protection video series. It's a four-part video series. Uh, if you cannot afford all four of them, buy the first one. Don't do not go out of order. That's a big one. Buy one, save up and get the other one. And, right. And but you will see how Hans trains a dog with zero equipment and and which is the initial that's everything that's that first video is one of the most right just yeah, yeah kind of yeah. yeah. if you do yeah. it right, right but uh, but as he says in the video in the video it's sort of sped up in a way this takes you know weeks on end to, right, right, to show right. him it's not like well yeah yeah, yeah. You, you do say that in the video so yeah, yeah it's not like you you, you don't. Yeah, the, the the problem is with with people. They argue is my system, yeah, and they don't know what it is. Yeah, they don't know. They said, "Well, it's it, training like you do is wrong." I said, "Well, how do I train?" You know what? That should be a question that we should ask like, in those groups. Can you just break it down for me? Since you're arguing against it, but what are you arguing against? Yeah. <laughs> Well, it. I've done it a few times. I ask that question again. You hear crickets after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's all. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I thought this one was going to be a longer episode. No, this is. I have it pretty refined because I'm dealing with that crap all the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was master this one. Yeah, this one is. It's been chiseled. It's been polished. Um, it's really nothing much to add to it. Well, okay. All right. So. Uh, visit or oh, subscribe, share all that good stuff, uh, please. Uh, we we love to uh, notify you if there's a new episode. Also, if again, if you want to purchase some videos from Hans Educational Stuff, it's at alpineknireel.com. That's where the personal protection video series. A real is. opposed to fake. Yeah, real, not real, like a fishing not a real. Fishing real yeah. yeah, so realistic. Alpineknireel.com. How to feed puppy raw. Uh, the no nonsense obedience training, check commands, uh, all sorts of education. Yeah, check commands for check dogs. Check by a check guy. A by a check should, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good pronunciation. That should be that should be added in that video. But uh, thank you for listening, and uh, we really appreciate you uh, sticking with us. And we will see you next time. Ahoy, ahoy. <laughs>